Hello my little crafty monsters, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making a little gift idea for maybe your sons or maybe, I mean, your kids. This would be perfect because it could be like a little movie night. You could set up a whole little movie night for them and all that. And I mean, this is perfect. Let's just show you what we're talking about. There's these very inexpensive little movie packets. So this one has the AMC gift certificates in there. And then a little popcorn and a little candy. And then the little container to put your popcorn in. How cute is this, right? And then this one has the same thing. It has some chocolate, the two popcorns. But this one has Netflix gift certificates so that could be like a stay at home for those romantic old nights you know does anybody want to go to a movie with me <laughs> so yeah like you know you could definitely definitely customize them however either a night at home quietly you know with either your kids or maybe you and your spouse or you and your boo or you and all your booze, then you're gonna need a little bit more popcorn than this boo boo if you have a lot of booze. But <laughs> but like you know, this is this is just like a little idea, just a little idea, boo boo. And this one is the AMC because it's like, dude, I don't want to be home, so take me to the movies. <laughs> we're gonna eat this, take the candy to the movie, and we're gonna watch the movie. Okay, <laughs> that's just the way it is. These are really simple. What we used is that shrink wrap. Um, bag that I purchased from Michaels and it, it's just a shrink wrap and so they usually have it wherever you have like the baskets you know like so that you can make basket gifts and stuff like that and there goes that freaking chair again anyway and then we use this little rope kind of ribbon thingamajiggy I don't know I don't know but anyway like I said, you could customize this. You could put a lot of candy in here. You could put more goodies in here. Um, you don't have to put as little stuff as I did. You could probably go all out. This is just a little example of what it is that you could possibly do. But go ahead and make one for your booze. And anyway, anyway, you guys want to get down to business, right? So let's get down to business and we will see you in a bit. Hola, hola, my little crafty monsters. So, in this fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these little movie packet baskets or whatever you want to call them. And so, we're going to use some candy, some popcorn, some gift cards, and these amazing little printout popcorn um, sleeves that I actually created myself on Word, on Microsoft Word. But um, if you guys would like these specific popcorn sleeves, just go ahead and email me to paper to masterpiece at gmail.com. Right here is the email and um, I will send you my PDF file so that you guys could just go ahead and either take these to Office Depot or Staples or anywhere to get them printed. But these I designed them, I designed them on Microsoft word and um they are so cute because it says um because you make my heart pop and you and you get my kernels popping <laughs> is basically what it says because you make my heart pop and you get my kernels popping is the little message that this says now if you're going to give this to one of your kids obviously you're going to change the message but if you're going to give this to one of your boo-boos, then definitely that is a cute little message. Um, so I actually put that message there myself. <laughs> I was trying to be cute and funny. Um, so anyway, we're going to put some double-sided tape on the top part of this. And then we're going to go ahead and just fold this over the popcorn bag. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the popcorn bags that I purchased, they're you know, that regular plain bag, and I don't really like how they look, so I wanted to give them a little extra something, something. You know, we gotta just step it up a notch. So that's basically all I'm doing here. This part is really, really easy. Now, granted that these popcorn 
bags are kind of small so if you use any bag that's a little bit bigger you're gonna have to alter the size of this printout but for the most part this worked out really good for the popcorn bags that I'm using and once you get these little bad boys ready then these are the little containers that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and they come two for 99 cents for a dollar actually so it was a win-win right here because you get to do two of them for the price of one and so all I'm doing is just filling up the bottom part with tissue paper so that the candy and the popcorn will not try to fall to the bottom it'll basically just hold everything up now you could go ahead and take some extra steps and put some candies in here like some Hershey Kisses some little chocolate miniatures you could get really creative you can put more stuff in here to weigh down to weigh this down um, I just didn't want to get too too crazy on it so I just go ahead and stuff this with tissue paper now all we're gonna do is just really arrange these little candies with um, tape there isn't no big you know technique or any little special thing that you're gonna need to put these little bad boys together it's just some tape and your tissue paper and so basically that's all I'm doing I'm just taping these little bad boys onto the actual plastic container now on this one the chocolate was not so heavy but on this little sour patch I do set this kind of towards the back part of the container and I did have to move him a little bit forward because the weight of this candy was too heavy that it kept making the container fall backwards um, so for the most part in a little bit you will see me kind of move the sour patches a little bit more forward so that I could keep the weight a little bit more balanced and so on these little popcorn packs you just go ahead and tape them onto your candy everything is just basically going to be taped if you've ever made a Easter basket it's basically the same way as making an Easter basket I always made my kids as Easter baskets so um, this is natural for me <laughs> so anyway go ahead and tape your little popcorn or any kind of little goodies that you want to add you don't have to add popcorn you could add anything that you want candies nuts um trail mix i mean the possibilities are endless honestly to tell you the truth and then once you have your candy and your popcorn then go ahead and just put your gift cards in the very front these gift cards are netflix this is a stay at home movie date night and then we have some amc theater gift gift cards and these are for uh hello take me out to the movies kind of thing so um you have a little variety of both and you could get really creative now these are those little shrink wrap bags that i purchased at michael's and i purchased these a while back these usually come out around easter but they do have them year long year round sorry and they are in the basket department so you guys definitely go pick up some of these these are fairly large and they do have different sizes but this didn't really matter to me because once you start to heat heat the um, shrink wrap bag it just basically shrinks and tightens so it's perfect right here you're going to see me then I'm actually moving the sour patch a little bit more to the center part so that the balance is a little bit more evenly and it's not um tipping the whole entire container to the back. So all you have to do is just take off the little tape and then retape it. So now that it's centered and it is basically um, balanced, it's not gonna be tipping over on me anymore. So now just go ahead and open your shrink, uh, your <laughs> shrink wrap bag and um, just try to Put your little basket or little container in the very middle and then all I'm going to do is just fold the excess to the back of this container and I'm going to go ahead and secure that with the tape and I'm not really too worried about this because like I said once you had once you add the heat it's going to basically shrink everything and you're not even going to be able to tell so like I said just go ahead and secure it with some tape you don't have to get too 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 fancy. I like to leave a lot of this on the very top so that it just looks like a basket. And so I'm going to go ahead and go get these little colored twisty ties that I purchased from the Dysol store. So these are from the Dysol store. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use these little red ones because we're trying to make everything match. So go ahead and just twisty tie these little bad boys. And this is just basically to secure it. Later on, we will be adding a little bow out of some cute, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's really cute. You guys will see right now. So just go ahead and do that to both of your little containers. 
just um, do the little pre-wrap and then afterwards we're gonna go ahead and shrink these little bad boys and you're gonna see how fast and how easy this is to make this look so professional. Um, again, these are really easy. You guys could get really creative. You can do all kinds of different stuff. You could stuff these with, I mean, it's just the possibilities are really endless. I really like the idea on making a date night at home. That Netflix one was a really good idea. I really like that. Sometimes you just want to stay home with your boo-boo or your kids or whoever it is that you enjoy spending your time with. <laughs> um, or maybe you just want to spend time by yourself, boo-boo. <laughs> it's okay. Ain't no shame. So this is that little rope that I'm telling you. And this rope, you take it apart and it... I mean, I love this rope as a ribbon for baskets because it just takes me back to my childhood. It reminds me of the bowls that you always used to see on the Easter baskets at the supermarket and stuff. And so you just unravel this little rope and look at how beautiful that ribbon is. It has a iridescence like colors. It's just, it's just really, really pretty. So I purchased this rope at my little favorite hole in the wall craft store in downtown Los Angeles. Um, and I did buy this in a huge, huge um, spool. And it was basically in their clearance. So I just grabbed it and I ran out with it <laughs> because I knew exactly what it was. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were looking at this and like, uh, what is this? But Jesse knew exactly what this was. And I said, oh my God, I could make so many bowls and so many things with this. So I grabbed it. But anyway, you guys could see how beautiful and amazing this is. When you guys are unraveling this, just be really, really careful because this ribbon is plastic and it is thin. And see right here, it did rip. But have no fear because Jesse will mend that and we will make it look like nothing ever happened. And so right here is the little part where it's torn. We're just gonna go ahead and get some tape and just seal that up. And voila, look, you can't even tell that it's even ripped, see? So then um, now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and tie these little bad boys around our little basket or little movie packet, whatever you wanna call it, and then just make a bow. I mean, I'm not the best person to make a bow, trust me, I don't know how to make bows, so. I'm trying to make these look as pretty as possible, but you know, you know how Jesse does it. So <laughs> I wasn't able to do my cheating on my bows this time. So I had to really try to do my hardest. But in all reality, seriously, people are really not going to notice that. They're going to tear this apart and try to get into what's on the inside of this packet. So for the most part, I'm not really too, too worried. And like I said, I really liked using this little bow because it just brought out so much color in it and it just looks really, really pretty. Um, and then after we have this all done, then we're going to go ahead and pull out our uh, blow dryer and we're going to go ahead and add some heat to these little bad boys. And you're going to notice how fast that all of this shrinks and it gets really, really, really tight and it just makes it look so, so professional. It actually looks like you went and you purchased this. It doesn't really look like you bought it, but that's the whole idea, right? And so we got one little bad boy down, and now for the next one. Go ahead and just add that heat. Don't add too, too much heat because you will kind of melt it. You want to kind of just, you know, do it to the point where you start seeing it tighten and, sh you know, shrink, and then that's it. And that's it, guys. These are the little bad boys. Man, I'll be jamming up in here while I be doing this right here. <laughs> Anyhow, look at, there's our little co-host. As always, to be expected, always sleeping on the job, but it's all right. It's all right. He still gets paid. <laughs> anyway, so that's how easy, let's, let's turn down the music because we're not in the club anymore. So that's how easy it was to make these little bad boys. And now, uh, okay. <laughs> but... I mean, like I said, you could customize these to whatever it is that you want. You could fill these up with like, um, you could fill it up with candies, like little Hershey's Kisses and those little miniatures and all that stuff. You could basically throw in like packs of nuts and stuff like that if your partner or whoever you're giving this to loves nuts, stuff like that. Um, but like, 
It's just, I mean, seriously, the possibilities are endless. You could turn these, and you get these at the um, at the Dollar Tree, and they're two for a dollar. So come on, you can make two of them. That's like super, super cheap. And then the popcorn, it's like a pack. You buy a box, and you can make two of these again. And then you just have to buy a candy. Like, you could buy several candies, but I mean... You don't want to get them too sweet, like too much sweet. You know they're going to drink soda, so so I think one candy is fine. And then, like I said, you could get a gift card, um, either a gift card or you could get, I mean, they're both gift cards, or you could get the Netflix for stay at home. And I mean, like I said, the possibilities are endless. So I hope that inspired you guys to make one of your boo-boos or all your boo-boos <laughs> a little movie pack. Um, you could even throw a DVD because see, for Christmas, I used to do that. Like I used to give, I mean, I would buy these a little bit bigger because I would throw in a little bit more um, candies and stuff like that. But also because I would throw in a DVD. And honestly, to tell you the truth, like... Those were awesome little gifts because I would always give like a new DVD what's in. But, you know, nowadays everybody uses Netflix or everybody uses cable and stuff like that. So nobody's really, I mean, like me personally, I don't own a DVD player, but I have a stack of DVD movies. <laughs> I'm going to buy one because I'm going to watch movies. <laughs> We're going to have some movie nights. But anyway, I used to put DVDs. But now you could just do the whole gift card for this or for Netflix and like stay home and watch movies. So, I mean, it's awesome now. So, like I said, I hope that inspired you guys to make one of these for your boo-boos. And <clears throat> that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and also that little notification button because you guys want to get notified. And uh, Matthias would love to have you guys in here watching our videos. Also, don't forget to share and tell a friend because your friends also need to know how fabulous we both are. <laughs> so, until next time, my little crafty monsters, goodbye.